Hi there, if you have ever wondered how to download an ebook from Internet Archive, then that is the video for you. I will show you in today's video how to do that and a little bit more. So stay till the end for the bonus tip. Once we are on the book page that you would like to download, scroll down just a little bit and on the right hand side we see download options. The most downloaded files are PDFs, but you can also download Kindle, EPUB, Text and Torrent among many others. In my opinion, there is one more file worth to mention, especially for you guys who wish to download images from these old books. This is JP2000 or JPEG2000, which is superior to regular JPEG file. JPEG2000 uses better compression and it is of better quality than regular JPEG file. Therefore, images that you will download will be of better quality than regular JPEGs. And I'm strongly recommending to download the processed JP2 zip file as these files, they were edited by Internet Archive staff. The original JP2 files, they are like they took the images. So basically you will see a page, a whole book and pretty much a padding around it. You can download the files in a few ways depending on the file extension. I'm mainly downloading the PDF and it is always very straightforward process. Using right click on my mouse and save link as, choose the designated folder and click save. And now to the bonus tip. Did you know that you can download individual book pages too? If you are on a hunt for old images to create new designs for your print-on-demand business or maybe you sell printable files on Etsy, then this tip will be useful for you as I will show you how to download images in their best quality. To do that, just scroll up so that you see the ebook reader, click toggle the full screen, then thumbnail view and zoom out as far as it allows you that way you can maximize the number of pages you will see in the preview. As you can see here, we have increased the number of rows and pages visible at once. So let's say that you see an image that you would like to download. Then if you see an image, click on the page and zoom in as close as you can. All the zoom ins and zoom outs will stay for the duration of viewing this book or unless you change it yourself. So you only need to do it one. So now we are on the page that you would like to download, zoomed in to maximum, then right click, save image as, choose the folder and click save. Then to get back to the thumbnail view, click again thumbnail view and move to another image. So why doing all zooming in and out you may ask? Well, this is because if you do not do that and you go by opening the single page view, you will download the same page but in much smaller size, which might work if you want text only. But if you want to download the highest quality of the file, you have to use this method. If you have a book over 500 pages, like in our example, and there are 70 plus images to download, there is no better method to do that for JPEGs. A second way to speed up downloading images is to download whole JP2 zip file. So to do that, I'm just gonna scroll down, click show all, and choose the jp2 zip file from here and I will go for that one. So again, right click, save link as, choose the folder and hit save. And after you unzip it, you need to have a software which will allow you to preview the jp2 files in bulk, preferably. And for that, I am using Adobe Bridge CC. This software allows me to preview all JP2 files and delete the unwanted pages. That way I am left with images only. I strongly recommend getting the Adobe Creative Cloud. About three to four times a year, Adobe is running a sale. You can get their subscription 40% cheaper than the usual price. There are also free alternatives which allow you to bulk preview the JP2 files. Let me know in the comments below if you need one. Downloading individual pages this way is much faster than if you download them from ebook reader. Their quality is much better than if you would decompress regular PDF to get the individual pages. Please do not forget to like it, share it and comment. Also, if you like the video and you are interested in public domain topic, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content. Thank you very much for watching until the next time.